1998 Lincoln sent with wide AM on the reverse. Graded in Mint State 67 read by PCGS. This interesting variety was produced using the wide AM reverse hub that was intended for use in striking proof 1998s Lincoln sense. According to Stax Bowers, a glowing pinkish rose superb gem with a full strike and nary a distracting blemish to either side. It was sold for $724.50. Number 6. 1961 D. Franklin Half Dollar. Graded in Mint State 66 FBL by PCGS. FBL is a designation standing for full bell lines. In the context of Franklin Half Dollars, full bell lines refers to the level of detail visible on the reverse side of the coin where the Liberty Bell is depicted. The Franklin Half Dollar, minted from 1948 to 1963, features a design by John R. Sinek, and the Liberty Bell is a prominent element on the reverse. Full bell lines means that the horizontal lines on the Liberty Bell should be well-defined and fully struck, without any weakness or breaks. Collectors often use this term to describe the quality of the bell's depiction on the coin. This tone specimen ended up selling for $1,500. Number 5. 1964 Kennedy Half Dollar. Graded as PR69 Deep Cameo by PCGS. This is a virtually pristine example of the premier proof issue in the popular and widely collected Kennedy Half Dollar series. Untoned silver-white surfaces allow ready appreciation of a boldly cameoed finish. Proof mintage, 3,950,762 coins, the vast majority of which are nowhere near as attractive as this premium quality specimen. It was sold for $1,680. Number 4. 1942 Jefferson Nickel. Type 1 dye variety. Graded as PR68 plus by NGC. This silky smooth example shimmers with a delightful satin to modestly reflective finish and displays a veritable sunset of color at the peripheries easing into the centers on both sides. The Type 1 does not have a P-mint mark. While the Type 2 silver does have a P-mint mark. Both coins have similar mintages. The 1942 Type 1 proof Jefferson Nickel can be easily obtained up to about PR66 condition. PR68 plus specimens like this one are considered rare. It was sold for $3,600. Number 3. 1926D Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 read by PCGS. According to Stax Bowers, satiny, bright copper surfaces exhibit an uncommonly bold strike in a survivor of this well-known strike rarity among 1920s Lincoln Cents. Solid gem quality throughout and worthy of inclusion in another advanced collection of this popular and widely collected series. The 1926D scent is relatively common overall but scarce in higher mint state grades. Strike and surface quality are the two compromising factors that make this issue so conditionally rare, and less than 200 coins are thought to survive in gem condition and above from an original mintage of just over 28 million pieces. This specimen was bargained for $4,800. Number 2. 1919s Lincoln Cent. Graded in Mint State 65 read by PCGS. An impressive rarity from the early portion of the ever-popular Lincoln Cent series, this important gem is far finer than the typically offered Mint State Survivor. We see none of the bothersome striking incompleteness and muting to the surfaces often associated with this issue. Instead, both sides retain full mint bloom and a warm medium orange hue, tinges of pale rose color also intermingled over the surfaces. The strike is sharp throughout and nearly complete. It was sold for $14,950. Number 1. 1949 D. Jefferson Nickel with repunched mint mark D over S. Graded in Mint State 67 FS by PCGS. FS standing for full steps. A beautiful superb gem, iridescent champagne apricot toning blends with billowy mint luster. Impressively full in striking detail, both sides are also expertly preserved and expectably smooth for the assigned grade. Writing in the 6th edition, Volume 1 of the Cherry Picker's Guide, Bill Fivas and J.T. Stanton have this to say about the 1949 D-S nickel. This variety is quite rare in mint state and highly sought after. Were the author speaking only of superb gems such as this, the more appropriate description would be very rare. This 5-cent piece ended up selling for $18,000. Thank you for joining us on this numismatic journey. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell. Got any of these coins? Share your stories below. Until next time, happy collecting!